Hey, what's going on, guys? Kodmaka Kings here. You know, like recently my wife has got fond of Irish lace and she has started torturing me in order to make me download lots of images for her containing some free uh, uh, motive patterns uh, regarding Irish lace, like this, guys. You can see now on your screen and. Even though I did find, uh, I think I did Google some some links. Still, I don't really want to right-click every single image right over in here and download it manually. So that's the reason why I decided to mm, use my one leg one line scraper technique, where when I was when I've been writing uh, the only single line of Python code within the scraper shell in order to uh, scrape some data or extract some data out from the internet basically and uh, this this is the exact case wh where this sort of a technique might have been applied quite pretty nicely and hence uh, I would like to share uh, in the hands in this video I'd like to share with you guys uh, this sort of one liner that allows uh, that would allow us to download images from whatever given source so if you're interested, buckle up and we begin. So uh, here I have uh, my downloads folder being opened and I just want to open the terminal uh, within my downloads and invoke the scrape shell. And now I just need to grab the very first URL here and in order to work with the request and response simultaneously, I need to enclose them within the uh, tuple. So first I can fetch uh, the data from the URL and then I can just work with the response object so we got this 200 response which is quite pretty nice so from now on we can uh, extract our images so mm, I'm looking for image tags where the source uh, attribute uh, contains uh, not this like but this like uh, contains dot gpg so uh, I'm distinguishing uh, between gpg and png uh, extensions regarding images in order to avoid scraping thumbnails for social networks and uh, disaster like that so just to make sure that I'm uh, downloading, downloading only the GPG files which in most cases contain uh, the reasonable data we're looking for uh, within the target site and here we need to get the attribute of uh, source and also we want to get all the elements but let's try to have a look it seems like we got a couple of uh, uh, a couple of uh, images there which means that from now on we can actually use the list comprehension technique uh, in order to uh, crawl through them recursively so i can say uh, for image url in this list and just for first i just want to print this image url and bearing in mind that we're not working with a real scrape spider that is uh, that can be uh, initialized from the Python script, but just using the bare uh, scrape shell, that means that we don't have the response uh, follow uh, option here, and we need to formulate uh, to generate uh, the URL uh, by hands basically. So you see, like this sort of a URL is not valid, so we need to append either HTTP or HTTPS to it, but uh, just to make sure that it would work, uh, we would have we would have appended HTTP. But uh, in some cases, HTTP might have been already appended there, and uh, just to make the code a little bit more flexible, I would like to append HTTP only in that case if it's not available within the target link. So, uh, here, uh, I can say, like, uh, so we want to append HTD, uh, HTTP, oh my god, HTTP, and followed by the column. If uh, HTTP uh, not in image URL, else uh, we just uh, append the empty string. So let's try to have a look. It's like now we have this HTTP being appended because it's, because it's not available and if it would be available it still like it won't be appended twice so just leave the link just as is and this link is already kind of valid link to crawl through and I'll demonstrate you this just right in the moment so now uh, I would like to replace this print with the fetch and again I need to enclose this fetch followed by uh, the response uh, object after this within the tuple again just uh, to work with them simultaneously but you see like already we did crawl through the two images uh, two image URLs recursively which means that from now on we can start uh, 
extracting the bytes data from the uh, from the responses and actually we can write that data to to, to the target file so uh, let me just get back here to, to the response if I say response.body I would see the exact bytes of images being scraped and the only thing left now I just need to write this response body to the appropriate file so I can just open the file stream and now I need to generate the file name so let's take the item uh, sorry let's take the image URL and try to split it by the slash and try to take the very last element and this would serve us uh, the, as the file name basically and we want to write bytes here and here finally say right response.body and if I did everything correctly uh, some images should have appeared here within the download folder so I hold my breath hit, hit enter and let's see what we got here okay perfect it seemed like we got a couple of images so let's check them out okay the first one the second one and we did extract our motive patterns which is absolutely fantastic so uh, now we can actually move on so let's grab a new URL and uh, now I just need to change this sort of URL to a new one okay run and here it seems like uh, quite pretty more uh, images already available so let's have a look yeah we did download really kind of lots of images perfect so let's move even further on so just copy this guy again and now just try to replace the URL one more time okay paste run okay really lots of images available which is absolutely fantastic and know that we don't have any uh, uh, unwanted images like social media uh, thumbnails or shit like that we do we do, we do only have like uh, these Irish lace patterns and uh, schemas if available and how the end result is gonna look like so this is quite pretty nice let's try to grab the, ver uh, the data from the very last uh, from the very last link well, obviously uh, I, I need to say that this line of code could have been uh, altered slightly bit uh, because uh, if you want to scrape data from some different sites but I just wanted to show you the okay, we did crawl through something as well uh, uh, but uh, I just wanted to show you the general approach yeah this this is it I just wanted I just wanted to show you the general approach of how one single out of Python code written within this scrapey shell can actually uh, achieve the goal of oh here it is achieve the goal of uh, extracting uh, image uh, extracting bulk images from whatever page. So this is it from my side, guys. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.